already know the deal. It's West Coast over here, boy. My original position was quarterback from probably eight to maybe freshman year, sophomore year maybe. And then, uh, you know, I like defense more than offense. It's way more fun and more contact and stuff. So I actually started with my brother Isaiah. We went from the backyard, started on footwork, watched him do his stuff, and he taught me. My first uh, camp, I did pretty good, you know. And from there, I just progressed on, progressed. And then uh, after that, I'm a safety now, and I love it. I'm pretty aggressive, you know. I love that. I love hitting. And then coverage-wise, I'm good. I got to work on a lot of stuff, but my number one overall thing is being aggressive. Well, getting my first offer, it came from Pac-12 School, University of Arizona, and that was my freshman year. Really, it was exciting. It was really exciting, but you know, you gotta keep your head on a, on a straight level. You know, you gotta keep your eyes uh, focused, and you gotta be focused yourself. You can't be pumped up. You can't let people get in your head. You gotta stay humble, and that's all it is right there, hard work. My parents, they've both been there for me since day one, you know? From eight years old to now, man, they've been pushing me since eight years old from school on the field and I, I really love them for that. I appreciate every every opportunity they give me. My favorite rapper right now is Drake. Man, that's my dude, man. Every song he puts out is crazy. I love it. <laughs> Here's a lyric for y'all. It's in this way too many people here right now that I didn't know last year. Who the y'all? I swear it feels like the last few nights. We've been everywhere and back, but I just can't remember it all. What am I doing? What do I do? <laughs> Something difficult for me to overcome was my condition, which is alopecia. As you can see, I'm bald. I grow no hair. That started when I was about three. It came, and I had my hair back. But then, uh, you know, it was hard, it was tough going to school. People were looking at me, staring at me, but you know, you gotta mind your own business. You don't have, you don't ignore everything what people say. It doesn't matter to you. You look the way you look. God put you there and had, and that for a reason, actually. And no matter what others say, you just do you. There's 2% of the population and I'm not 2%. And like I said, God, I'm God, I mean, I'm blessed with this. And like I said, do you, no matter what anybody says, if you have one person to go to, like a, like a mom or dad or uncle, go talk to them about it so they can keep you focused. Cause it really doesn't matter what anybody thinks. It matters what you think. Well, my uncle would just keep my head high. You know, I would come home from school depressed from all the kids and all the, all the teachers and stuff. But you know, I came to him after every day of school talking to him about it. And uh, he, he just kept my head high. I believed him. Every time I went to school the next day, I, I came back with a smile on my face and I loved him for that, man. Shout out to my uncle Nick right now, living in Seattle right now, having fun. Man, I love you, man. Thank you for everything you did for me. I wanna study business and marketing right now. That's, that's what I'm focused on right now for school. I'm planning to leave in December, early graduate. I'm on track, everything's going good. I'm happy, I'm excited, man. Academics is the main thing to this course right here because after football, you have nothing but academics and that's the one thing you wanna do and know after football because there's a, there's a life after football and you need that academics. My name is Cameron Williams, athlete from Bakersfield High School. Thanks for watching my video. West Coast over here, baby.
Radar Sports Media, the hottest sports videos in the nation.